I'm Gavin Hoey, and in this video, I'm going to give you my top five tips for setting up the Floralite from Linko. Well, the first tip is all about the softbox. We all know that the softbox for the Floralite is super quick to put up, but if you are going to use it, it also has to be the first thing you attach to your Floralite. You need to put the softbox on before you screw in the bulbs. Tip number two is all about attaching the softbox onto the Floralite head. Now you might think you might just want to sort of push the, the softbox straight on at this angle, but much better is to angle the Floralite so it's facing vertically upwards. Then you can get the softbox and it should simply drop straight onto the Floralite, just as easy as that. And then I can tighten up my retaining bolt. I can do it one-handed. It's much more straightforward when it's pointing up. And there you go. I'm ready to add in my bulbs. Tip number three is all about the bulbs. Now these things are made of glass and they are extremely fragile. So you need to take care of these when they're not safely contained inside the Floralite. Now I've got a couple of tips for you. The first one is to retain the box that the bulb came in. So you can store them back in the box and it'll be perfectly safe. My second one is a, a lot more practical. If you need to transport these bulbs around, carrying six boxes of these is quite a, a big heavy job. So much better to invest in one of these little Floralite bags that's designed to hold securely six bulbs like that. It's a good tough bag and it's gonna keep your bulbs really safe. Okay, tip number four. Tip number four is about attaching your bulbs into the Floralite. Now, these glass elements are very, very fragile. So if you're screwing your bulbs in by holding the glass, one day that glass is gonna shatter and it's gonna be a bit of a mess. So always attach your bulbs and unscrew your bulbs by holding the plastic base at the bottom and using that to screw in. Never screw in just by turning the glass because that is gonna break your bulb very quickly indeed. Finally, tip number five is all about the outer diffuser. Now, this attaches to the softbox by Velcro that runs all the way around the outside of the softbox, but try not to stick it right up against the edge of the actual softbox itself. Leave a little bit of a gap. The reason I recommend doing that is if you fit an accessory, for example, if you fit the, the egg crate grid on it, then that also attaches by Velcro. So you're gonna to need to have a little bit of room to attach both the, the diffuser and the egg crate. And so you'll need that little bit of edge of Velcro showing around the edge of the softball. Okay, there you go. Five great tips on how to set up your floral lights from Lenko. I'm Gavin Howey from gavtrain.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Linko TV. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Linko would like to offer you the use of their studios with all of your lighting equipment needs for all aspiring photographers and models free of charge. They are located in Santa Fe Springs, California. And for more details, feel free to email them below at the address. See you soon.